Ago, you heard Alexis touch on how violent and deadly of a year we're having in St. Louis. We want to show you the raw, real number. Right now, the city police department is dealing with 210 cases of murder. That's a lot. And now we want you to look at this next troubling number. As of tonight, 155 of those cases are wide open, unsolved, killers walking free. Part of the problem, witnesses are not willing to take the risk in coming forward. We want to get you over to Ashley Lincoln, who's looking into a new plan that hopefully will change that. Ashley. That's right, Samantha. City leaders are very hopeful about this plan. I can tell you right now, if a person submits a tip to Crime Stoppers, they'll only get a couple of thousand dollars for reward if that tip leads to an arrest. Tonight, we're learning about this bill where now tippers will get at least $10,000 for their tips that lead to an arrest in a homicide case. City leaders telling us tonight that they hope that this will help the police department solve the countless number of cases that remain unopened. Crime affecting all corners of the city. I think it's devastating. And few are willing to talk about what they know. It's absolutely concerning. We're not getting information back from the community. Wednesday, St. Louis's Board of Aldermen passed Bill 114, the Justice for Families Bill. This new measure sets aside $2 million to help provide higher Crime Stoppers reward amounts. News 4 found Crime Stoppers rewards typically range from just $1,000 to $5,000. With this new bill, any tip leading to an arrest and a homicide will now result in a flat out $10,000 reward for adult cases and $15,000 for homicide cases involving children. Unfortunately, I didn't receive any type of help um, that evening. Um, I did lay outside for about six and a half hours. Sierra Norman was nearly a murder victim. In 2019, she was shot several times outside of a market on Natural Bridge in the city. The night I was shot, uh, there were people in that store that can solve the, uh, that crime. Her case is one of hundreds of felony cases that remain open. Alderman President Lewis Reed has hoped that this new Crime Stoppers money closes cases and cuts the crime epidemic. It will absolutely have an effect downstream on lower level crimes. So far, 2020 is one of the most violent years on record. On average, 30 percent of the cases are closed. So 70 percent of those cases, those murder cases are left open year over year. The city is getting the extra Crime Stoppers money by tapping into the emergency reserve to fund this. The great thing about a program like this is that you pay as you go. If people call in and give us leads, then uh, we and we happen to run through that $2 million, that actually would be a good thing because if we spend $2 million, that means we have closed a whole lot of uh, unsolved murders in the city of St. Louis. Now we found the city adopted this bill from Omaha. The city increased their Crime Stoppers reward amount to $25,000. Now Omaha was able to increase their solve rate from 60% all the way up to 90%. So city leaders here in St. Louis are hoping this bill will have that same impact here in St. Louis. They are telling us that this bill will be in play for about a year. Now city leaders will also receive biannual updates on the progress to hopefully hopefully see more tips being led to arrest in these cases. All right, Ashley Lincoln live for us tonight. Good information there, Ashley. Thank you. If you have a crime tip, you can call Crime Stoppers. That number is 866-371-TIPS. You can also text your tip to investigators. Just be sure to include STL in the tip when you send your message to 274-637. A reminder tonight, Crime Stoppers does promise to keep tips anonymous.